You want crawfish for that Super Bowl, dude? Check out Cajun crawfish. Let me get my little dump right here. Another year has come. We're out here Cajun crawfish, like you know. We're gonna go fill the table with these beautiful, beautiful crawfish. Y'all come along for to learn y'all how we get them to your doorstep alive overnight. Let's get it. Let's run a few traps, dude. Oh yeah, check that out, check that out. Just like that. A little stink in there like that dude in that crawfish smell that crawl in that hole and then they trap and then we come and we pick them up let's keep running some traps oh yeah keep off it's only 41 degrees out here we still running them that time has come, the season on is here. Just like that. Oh yeah, dude. Make sure, this is why you wash your crawfish right here. Get that old funk out of there. Look at that pretty crawfish right there. Up, dude, it's gonna be a long season. We expect a good crawfish season. Oh, yeah, some big ones right there. Look at that. Boom. Get that out of there. Some old stank, stank. It's 41 degrees out here at Cajun Crawfish. We're gonna bring you from field to table. Let's get it. So we got the crawfish out the field over here where we wash them, quadruple wash. Them. When they get warm, they hit that little excavator. You see how he's catching all the sticks, the mud right here, and the snails. He rolls up there, comes down to the sack right there. When the sack fills up, Right there. Live crawfish to your house. Build the table coming at you, dude. Very important to remember when you order your crawfish, they still alive in the field, dude. We go and catch them. Alright, you see us clean them. We get them in here. We get them up in that sack like that. Put them in your little ice chest. Boom! Cover that like that. Comes with a little seafood ball if you like that. Cover that with that ice. Ooh, we 
ship that to your house overnight, you get your crawfish, they are live, you're ready to rock, dude. Now we've been getting a lot of questions. What happens when they get to your doorstep? You open them up, you get rid of all that, that ice, the seasoning on, the bag, open it up, the crawfish have to breathe, all right? Don't wash your crawfish until you're ready to ball, dude. So if you're gonna ball the next day, get your bag of ice, don't bust it, put the whole bag on top, let it sit, but if you ball in that same day, open them up, let them breathe, wash them off, and ball them. They're gonna be alive and ready to rock. We back at the cooking studio, dude. When you get your crawfish from Cajun Crawfish, you open them out that little ice chest, you're ready to ball, wash your crawfish, dude. Fresh water is all you need. You know that purging in that salt? That's a bunch of la mad, dude. That ain't gonna work. Wash your crawfish, pull the little dead ones out if there's any, and then clean all that little grass off and get ready to burn it. So we got it full up, dude. Come look at this, this is the first run. That's not too bad right there. We're gonna do two or three, but look at this. This is the dead ones, they float to the top. That's why you wash them right there. You get all that out of there, look at that grass. That ain't bad right there. I seen a lot of worse sacks than that dude boom drain that water out now that's that second run right there we filled it up once filled it up twice always get your hands in there because sometimes them little crawfish a whole grass up in them tails and when you move them around they let go of that mud that grass so get your little hands in there don't be up looking at a claw on that mighty quan right there dude look how pretty that is so stir it around get up in there with your crawfish, dude, and clean them up. That little grass will come to the top. Get that out of it. We don't want no salad, dude. We ain't rabbits. There's gonna be money. Look at that big old. Whew. Let's bury these. This year, we're running high performance cookers. They say it could bring a rolling ball in seven minutes. Let's get it, dude. Thirty. 6.30. I hadn't been this excited since Lil Fred got caught sleeping with his teacher and he's homeschooled, dude. I'm excited. That is crazy fast. And it saves on propane, dude. Says 60%. I'm hooked. I was skeptical, but it's time to get it, dude. So we burning them crawfish. You can add your season on now. Y'all made me do it. I had to come out with my own ball. I couldn't find none that ever satisfied me dude so i got it it's coming to you right in your face dude get that in there like that Woo! them lemons don't squeeze them that's optional now that ball covers that if you really want that signature ball dude a gallon of them jalapenos pickled in that juice with a little on your dude look at that right there get that flavor pack up in there come look at a little stir on that dude Oh, look what it says. That money, dude. What? Time to add that garlic, dude. But look at these little potatoes. My wife said my potatoes were uncooked last time I balled. Maybe she's making another reference, dude. I don't know. Get that in there. Crank the fire up. Them potatoes are almost al dente. I don't know what my wife found in the freezer. We got a miscellaneous sausage contraction. Throw that in there. And them champignons, dude. Ooh, them mushrooms. Give it that a stir. Come on, bro. Stir at it. Let's stir at it. Look at that right there. Now that's a pot, dude. The potatoes are perfect, dude. Let's drop that crawfish. Look, the problem is when you drop all that crawfish in there, it kills the ball. And some cookers take forever to come back to a ball. We're about to see how long it takes. Dump them in there. Get that fire going. Give a stir. Let's see how long that takes. I see bubbles already, dude. 
I'm looking at. Coming back. As soon as I see that water like that, come look at that, dude. Come look at that. I give them about two minutes. Some people go four, five, six minutes on that crawfish. I think that's too long, but I soak mine by 25, 30 minutes. I give them a little stir like that. I'm gonna kill that fire, dude. Look at that. Boy, that's beautiful, yeah. Time to kill that ball with that frozen corn. Boom. Let's get our stir on, dude. Look the color of them crawfish. I can put it that in. Bright red. What you looking for? Don't over burl them. Get your stir on. Come and ask in your house real quick. I'm gonna give y'all a little tip and that's just a tip, dude. So I over season my crawfish, all right? But every five minutes I get up in there and I taste one and I taste one. And when they're ready, I pull them. So I like the over season cause you pull them out when they're ready. So now they sitting and we're gonna get lit and do. I'm gonna give y'all a real deal holy feel right here. This is my 15 minute test. Come over here, dude, come on. Got my 15 minute test, my 20 minute. This is my 25 minute soap test right there. That's sauce bon. If that wouldn't be ready, I'd go to my 25, my 30 until they ready. Come check that out. Come look how pretty that is. It's time to pull them, dude. It's time to pull them. Look at that. 25 minutes. Over season your crawfish. Test them. Test them to the how you like. And then when they like you like, you pull them, dude. That's what my boy down there in Araby. Time to pull them, dude. Get them out that old water. Chuck them. Oh. Ooh, just like that. We got another one out there. Mm -mm -mm. Only thing we got left to do is slam some beautiful Cajun crawfish. Come right out the shell. Mm. Suck them. Suck them head. Oh, my favorite, dude. My favorite. You got three crawfish tails on a cracker, dude, in the money dip. Oh, I lost one, but I'm going to get him back. Mm -mm -mm. No crawfish left behind. That's money. Sausage bomb.